you ever watch like TV, like cartoon or it doesn't necessarily be a cartoon, just any kind of television, and you see like a person or so, and they go into like um, like uh, a workstation or like a control room or something. And you know there's monsters everywhere, there's a lot of lights and everything and, you know, stuff, you know, going on and there's like this big control board of just, you know, knobs and stuff. And there's always a button. You know, like I said, it's mainly cartoons, but any other stuff, there's always like a button. One big red button that's just constantly flashing. And sometimes, like, around that button, it'll say, do not press. Obviously, what's the person going to do? They're going to press the button. You know, it's enticing. You want to, you know, it's just in your face like this. Oh, oh, you got to do this. You got to do this. Obviously, the person is going to push that button. I pressed the button. I was told by the people I trust the most when it comes to wrestling who give me the best advice. I was told, don't watch this pay-per-view. Now, considering... Sunday, I had all the intentions in the world. Honest to goodness, I was going to watch, I was going to sit down and watch this pay-per-view. I haven't watched TNA fully since October. It's what, almost six months, about six months now. I, my full intentions were to watch this show. Didn't get around to it, got caught up with the girlfriend. So I was like, you know what, I'll just, you know, I'll download and watch it later. Came on YouTube, I saw reviews, people were just saying this, Destination X is bad, this, that, Destination X is bad, worse than last year, you know, and it was almost, like I said, it was that red button, I don't know why, the people tell me it's bad, stay away, don't watch it, but considering I was going to watch it, I just had to, I was like, you know what, let me just see if this is as bad as they say, you know, this is hard for me to judge since, you know, I haven't watched TNA in so long. I really wasn't going in there to judge it. I just wanted to see what they were up to, you know. I got about to the fourth match, and I just, I stopped. I couldn't take it anymore. I don't understand, oh, uh, what has happened to this company that I used to love. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's such a sad sight that, you know, I don't want to say we because I'm not a part of that company, I don't get money, but I feel like I've helped a little bit in the success of this company, so I can say we. I don't understand how we got to this situation of being this this poor and, you know, and presenting a product. You know, it's just, it's mind-blowing how easy it is for them to succeed, but they don't pull the trigger. They're just doing stupid stuff every week. You know, I, like I said, I haven't watched TNA since Bound for Glory. I read up on what they do, but, you know, there was one time out of this whole deal of me not watching TNA. I'm still on it, pretty much. I plan on watching Lockdown, I'll tell you that. My plan is to watch Lockdown, but since then... There's only been one time where I was like, you know what, I'm going to watch TNA tonight. And that was, what, the Thursday, I believe it was uh, New Year's Day or so. It was that Thursday right around New Year's. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to watch TNA. And they just happened to show a best of 2008. I'm like, uh, what was so good about 2008, you know? Just watching some of the show, they got a chick personating Sarah Palin on here. Like, Sarah Palin was all that popular for you to, you know, get a girl to mimic her, and I don't understand. I don't know who, you know, ugh. I just, like I said, I don't understand how a company that could be this good just, just, bam, just like that. It hurts my heart to see a guy like Christian leave, you know, because I was like, man, Christian, you know, he's all about TNA, and it's, and it's great, and now you see him, he's, he's doing commentary on Raw with Finley. It's just, ah, oh, you know, you just want this guy to go back to, you know, the place he was, but then you don't want him to suffer in this, you know, hellhole, basically. Ah, uh, I don't understand. The main event mafia is just, it, it's, it's, it's a mess. It's all a mess. You got two top guys in the group 
going against each other. You know, Sting is still the champion, which I I can care less. I can give a shit about that title anymore. He's still the champion, and now he's gonna face Mick Foley at Lockdown. Like, I don't understand. Suicide is the X Division champion, and it's not even the right guy playing Suicide. When do you wait until Kaz comes back to make Suicide champion? Oh, when you put Suicide in some, because I didn't read anything about him being in, you know, storylines. When you put him in some storylines before you give him the belt, you know, I don't, I don't understand. I don't. AJ Styles is Legends champion, whatever the hell that means, you know. Ain't too many Legends in TNA. You know, it just, I don't know, man. Samoa Joe, you thought Samoa Joe would go away, you thought he would, you know, come back brand new, come back, kick ass Joe again, and shit just, it didn't go down like that. I guess, I don't, I don't understand why, you know, I put so much time, so much effort into defending this company, so much money has been spent, pay-per-views, t-shirts, DVDs, just time has been spent, you know, I've sat there, you know, I went on a on a long run of not watching WWE, missing, you know, it wasn't all that good, but I did miss some stuff during that time. I was just strictly watching TNA, I was just promoting TNA, I joined TNAU, yes I did, I joined TNAU on my own free time, I had made flyers for my school, pinning them up at the, the, the billboard, telling people, hey, Spike TV, you know, 9 o'clock on Thursdays, watch it, you know, it's the new thing in professional wrestling. And it just looks like it was a joke. Like, it was a waste of time. I, I'm not saying that WWE is all that. I've watched very little Ring of Honor this year. But, you know, for a company that I, I don't want to say loved, but, you know, a company that I cared about so much, put so much time and effort into, is just flushing itself down the drain. I give a crap if they got, you know, high ratings. Because, you know, Whatever, man. I, I just don't understand. I just I want them to straighten themselves up so I can learn to like this stuff again. But it's hard, man. It, it, it's really hard. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch Lockdown because I, I do love Leave the Lockdown. But I don't know, man. They gotta they gotta do something. Just I don't know. Just don't run yourself into the ground until you you know you get yourself in a mess that you can't fix. Because it's looking like you're going that way. Hopefully everything turns out for the best.